problem 14, number 6. So here we have differential equation right over here, dy over dx equals 3 minus y times cosine of x. Now, uh, after that, we get to realize that we're looking for the particular solution when uh, f of 0 equals 1. And first, what we want to do is we want to, uh, a portion of the slope field, which is right over here, uh, of the differential equation is given below, sketch the solution. So how are we going to sketch the solution? Uh, passing through 0, 1. So 0, 1 is right over here. So it has to pass through this particular point. Now, when you look at the graph, it goes up, kind of turns, something along that line, right? How about to the left? It goes down, steeper a little bit. up a little bit minus a little bit crooked but comes up something like that that becomes my answer and maybe I can just sketch it a little bit lower here or something like Something along that line. All right, let's look at uh, part B, write an equation of the line tangent. So that means we need x and y value and then slope at this particular point. Uh, use the equation to approximate this one. So here we get to realize uh, part B, point is uh, 0 and 1. That was given. We need to find the slope. Slope is based upon this equation, which is uh, 3 minus y, y equals about 1, and cosine of 0. Three, uh, cosine of 0 equals 1, and then two minus, uh, 3 minus 1 becomes 2, so we know the slope is equal to 2. Then what is our equation? y minus 1, which is equal to 2 times x minus 0. When you simplify this one, we get y equals 2x plus 1. Now, they want you to approximate point 2. So f of point 2 based upon this one can be approximated by 2 times point 2 plus 1. Uh, we get 1.4 would have been our answer. All right, they want you to find the particular solution here. So then uh, I'm going to write the, write down the solution here. See, first what I need to do is I need to separate them. So 3 minus y goes under y, and then dx goes onto the other side. So we get dy over 3 minus y, which is equal to uh, cosine of x dx. Now, once you're done with that, I get to integrate both sides. Then here I get negative because of the sign in front of y, and then of 3 minus y, which is equal to sine of x plus c. Now, then I get to realize that uh, ln of 3 minus y, which is equal to negative sine of x plus c. Now, what I can do is I can get rid of this one by raising both sides. And then so we get 3 minus y will be in fact equal to e to the negative sine of x, and then plus c actually goes into the coefficient in front, and then I can subtract 3, so we get negative y equals c e to the negative sine of x, and then uh, minus 3, but we get y equals c e to the negative sine of x plus 3. Now, when I plug in 0, I should be able to get uh, 1, so then 1 equals, when you plug in 0 here in place of x, then sine of 0 becomes 0, hence the entire expression here becomes 0, I mean 1, rather, so we are left with c plus 3. Then we get to realize that c must be equal to negative 2. So then what we end up getting is 
if I'll write down the final solution. Uh, y equals negative 2 e to the negative sine of x plus 3 becomes our final answer. All righty. Uh, with that one, I close up. See you later.